Hello, this is Rafan Zardat Khan from Javelin Technologies bringing you what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Okay, so let's go back to SOLIDWORKS 2012 and we will look at this study. So let me go ahead and apply a pressure. So this is basically a quarter model of a pipe. It is fixed on one end and I want to apply symmetry to this. So the way to apply symmetry, and we have seen that in detail in previous videos and posts, and probably you will see a link in this video how you can do that, but the idea was you go ahead and you use the use reference geometry. You could pick a plane which represented the plane <coughs> of symmetry. So in this case, let's say on one side is going to be the right plane. You restrict all the normal translations on that edge and you restrict the in-plane rotate or out-of-plane rotation sorry and that would sort of mimic the symmetry restraint there why can't I use symmetry restraint over here let's go back and let's see if you want to use symmetry basically the only option I have is I need planar faces to impose that symmetry let us switch to SOLIDWORKS 2013 now and try to do the same. So let me go ahead and try to apply symmetry restraint on a shell. Oh, look at that. I have edges that I can pick. So let me try and see what happens if I pick that. Edge. Oh, look at that. I even get a preview of what this symmetry means. Let me pick the second edge as well. There I have it, the full pipe symmetry has been imposed simply by clicking on those two edges. I will hit OK, run that and see how that looks. Oops, sorry, we forgot to apply our loads. So let me apply the same pressure of 0.1 megapascals on the inside of that face and run that. Oops. Let me reverse the direction of that and run it again. Make sure that the shells are turned off. Uh, by the way, another feature that we have talked about that you can actually visualize shell in 3D and the symmetry has been imposed properly. Uh, we, If we want to verify that, we can go ahead and activate the full configuration or let's just duplicate the study. Uh, using the full configuration. Of course we have to go back and let me just delete that. We no longer need the symmetry. Let me make sure my pressure is applied on the entire interface. My fixed restraint is on the right edge. OK. Uh, we will go back and define the same thickness of 5 millimeters and we are good to go. So almost the maximum one Mesi stress of 1.6 megapascals and the same thing should be here. So I have the same stress in this model as well. So there you have it. Now just with a single click I can impose the symmetry boundary condition on shell edges compared to what I had to do in SOLIDWORKS 2012. The However, I have to be aware of one thing. If clicking on multiple edges, uh, they have to be either in-plane edges or planar edges, and the planes that they are in have to form orthogonal angles. Uh, the symmetry is imposed in a way that the faces remain tangent to each other after the, uh, the symmetry is imposed. You cannot impose symmetry on example a V-shape shell which has been cut in half uh, and the reason being of course is let me just show you the mesh it is assuming that that shell face is being cut normal or perpendicular to that edge so that's why you will always be able to impose symmetry on that plane that is formed by the shell so when you do pick an edge be careful that you cannot use like an edge which is cutting the surface at an angle other than 90 degrees. 
All right. Hope you like this new enhancement in 2013.